Hello all, welcome back. Uh, in the previous series, we have gone through how to learn Python and we gone through how to build a book app instead of learning what print is, what lists are, what dictionaries are. So we are pretty much done with that. And today what we are going to do is we are going to build uh, yet another fun application. I call it the search assistant. But uh, basically, if you want to learn a new topic, let's say you want to learn DevOps, okay? Uh, what I would usually do is I would do a, a tutorial for DevOps and I would skip through the ads and pretty much do this. Uh, I'll go through each and every, uh, you know, each and every link and then open them and see uh, if we can open all the tabs. And at one point we can say, you know, this particular thing is just, uh, I mean, anything from this particular site is going to be uh, not of any particular use. Uh, so I can skip that. So I can filter out, for example, I'm not in a position to take any video courses. So I can say, you know, avoid Udemy, right? So I want only blogs of that sort. So you can do a lot of filtering on this. So this doesn't need a lot of work, but I literally have no clue how to go about it. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna also show you how do I Google search my way out of this. But before we move along, I have the GitHub repository ready and I have my code ready with just a git readme. I've already written my spec a bit before. So I'm going to copy that and paste here and show you what I'm trying to do. So what I'm trying to do is a simple terminal app that helps you search better. And what I'm trying to use is Python. Obviously, this I don't think you need a front end because you already have the browser. And what I would do in my terminal is I would do, you know, search and then followed by a, a, a search term and then a number of links I would want to open. This can be 20, this can be 5, uh, whatever it can be. So for now, we'll stick with 10. And uh, 20 means first 20 Google links. So once I type this, find the first 20 Google links and then open Firefox or Chrome, use this default browser and then open all the tabs. So first we have this and now let's create an app folder. Uh, and then inside the app folder comes our, I'm just going to just go init.py, which is like a Python module. And then comes your uh, search.py. Okay, so great. So far, what, what just happened? Okay, it's search. Okay, there it is. There was a bit, bit of a lag. Everything is working. Now let me delete this. Need some patience here. Okay, so we have everything that we need in place. Um, now what we are supposed to do is, so there are a, bit of, a lot of things I don't know how to do in Python. So some of those things are, you know, uh, let me do that here. Okay, first thing is, you know, how do you, open a web browser in Python, using Python, right? Second thing is, how would you do Google search, right? So these are a couple of questions. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but I'll do it along the way. Um, next thing I would want to do is, since it's a Git repository, we always need a .git ignore file. Uh, ignore, okay. So here I'm going to remove my virtual environment, which I'll just create. And then I'll remove all my PyC files. And then I'll also remove my PyCache. Okay, looks good. Now, next step is to create a virtual environment because I don't want to mess up any of my... Ah, okay. It's taking it from my previous book app. I'm just going to deactivate. Um, deactivate. Let's create a new one. Virtual environment. ENV, Python P, it's Python 3. Wow. Okay, Python 3 and VM. So that will create me a virtual environment. I'm using Python 3, if you are not sure. So now I have to change my environment in VS Code. So I'm, I'm just going to do that. Uh, everything is in place. Uh, do you need PyLint or uh, not now? Okay. 
so that's done so um so virtual environment slash bin slash activate that would activate my virtual environment so now we are inside a virtual environment so these are like basic setups that i would do right uh also i'm going to do my first git commit now so i'm just going to do git and dot i do git in it because it's not even git and git add okay just to be sure i'm going to do just add and git add really git add dot git ignore okay let's do git status now i'm being very conscious okay git ignore app readme and that's it so everything is in place git commit iphone m this is uh, my initial setup one thing you can do is you can always create this initial setup files and push it into a github repository and then pull them so that you don't have to do this step so i'm going i'm showing you everything from scratch so i'm not going through that process so okay next thing we were here right we have to figure out how to open a web browser in python now what i'm going to do is i don't know this so i'm just going to wow do this in google Ta -da. wow okay so there is something like uh, popping up from uh, python's documentation so let's see so python has looks like python has something called as web browser and all you have to do is import web browser and okay open something so let's try this this is like the basic example that I have there are two things you can do with the documentation either you can read through them understand them and you know then try things or you can do it my way where i find the first piece of code i'll just copy it uh, paste it and hope it works so let's see if that works also i'm trying from a different version expecting that okay that worked right we actually opened this particular link and it worked so now it's just a matter of how to use it in a python file all i all we did was using it in a terminal now we are going to use it in the python file so before we screw this up let's move to python 3.7 and okay the syntax pretty much didn't change uh, all i have to do is you know uh, web browser open url okay new equal to zero if new equal to zero the url opened is in the same browser window if new is one the new browser new browser window is opened if possible it's two the new browser page is opened if possible hmm we need to play around with this open new open url in a new window of the default browser if possible otherwise open url in the only browser window hmm, interesting open new tab okay so here's what we want to do open url in a new page tab of the default browser if possible otherwise equivalent to open new okay this is what we need it is going to create a new tab if it's already there also i wanted to create a new instance okay let's try this first right uh, i am going to import web browser and i am going to write oh my god i don't know what triggers this anyways so i am going to write a function of open browser okay and i am going to send give this urls okay that's the uh, thing and what i am going to do is for url in urls uh, web browser dot open new tab that's it so for now i am going to use url is urls is equal to i am going to say get a couple of urls from here and put it there so for now i'll have just one url okay i don't want to use something that's already there so okay now we are going to copy some url and then paste it over here okay great so and then now i'll call pen browser of urls and basically what it should do is open a 
browser and open that particular URL. I mean, open the new tab in the existing URL. Okay. Now I'll do type in app slash search term by interesting. So copy some random character. Okay. There we go. It opened a new tab. Uh, also, what I want to do is I want it to open a new window first, followed by a new tab on that window. So, you know, only browser window. Okay. So, for the first URL, what I'm going to do is for web browser dot open new R URLs of zero and then for URLs uh, one through the rest of the things I'm going to do it in a new tab. Okay, let's see if that works. Huh. Okay, we didn't even open it in a new tab. We might also have to okay, that's the next problem. But new equal to zero URLs open in the same browser window. If it's if it's one, the new browser window is opened if possible. Okay, let's try open with comma new equal to one. Also to test out this, we would need another URL. Okie doke. That's great. Now let's try this. It didn't open a new window. Why is that? I'm curious now. New browser page. Okay, I said one. A new browser window. Okay, something is going on in here. Open URL in a new window of the default browser if possible. Otherwise, open URL in the only browser window, which means I have because I have a only browser window. Okay, I'm not sure. Erasing the window if possible. Hmm. So now this is not working. Let me try to also see if that goes well. Nope. Not working at all. Okay, that's a bug we have to fix. Come back. Okay. So I'm going to remove this and we let it open in my uh, existing browser. Although I hate this behavior. I'm going to just move forward and be not stuck with this and the second thing i might have to do is have to populate this url by reading a google uh, by doing a google search right for that uh, i remember looking at a python module okay so python module to do google search it's not the existing google search api as such but it's a python thing yeah, this is the one. So it's Google search if I'm not sure if this is the one. First Google search. Mm, it was very similar to this, but mm, it was in GitHub too. I think this is the one. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is the one. So what you have to do is you have to pip install Google and you have to do this, right? And here is your code to get the thingy. So next is, you know, def search my term and I give it a term and what it has to do is Oh God. Mm. Give me a set of URLs. 
Okay, it has to put the term over here. And uh, we will have the count also coming from somewhere. But by default, let's stick with 10, right? And it will return the URL. URL and then instead of printing it out, we'll just return it. Okay, now we have two parts, right? Uh, we no longer need this because we are going to populate our URLs from here. So what I'm going to do is URLs equal to search my term of uh, term comma I'm going to leave the count part now and then open browser with the URLs. Now there is only one piece missing where the term going to come from. For now I'm going to input it but later I will take it from the sysargs or I can just go ahead and do it in sysargs itself. Okay, import sys uh, sys dot a r g v of zero would be python, one would be the file, two would be the uh, search term if I'm not wrong, and count would be sys dot a r g v of three. Hope that works, right? Uh, and then just to be sure, I'm going to print out the term. So term comma count. Because if we take in the Python program itself, then it's going to be a bit of a problem. Okie doke. Now let's do Python search dot dot okay, app search search dot by. Hmm, this is index out of range. Wow. Okay. You have to do what is your search term? Let's say journaling. And then I have to say 10. It's still out of range because maybe I was wrong. Okay, maybe it was one and two. Okay, journaling and ten. That that was right. So what it's doing is this is zero, this is one, and this is two. That's how the indexing works. Wow, can you see? Can you see that? Like it's opening all the tabs. Um, so for that you need to. I don't know how to do that. Maybe we'll. At slash search dot by git status. Is there anything else left? Okay, nothing. And git commit I think for okay. We didn't even do basic program. What is what we did was first version with one open URLs in new tab. Search Google for URLs. So like this, you can take something you're doing every day and kind of automate into a Python program. Take any task that you have, automate that and share your work. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. I'm signing off.